Good morning and welcome back to the 120th. Today is all about the Minutero 2. From Stenopaker Cameras, it is a system for creating prints directly out of your 4x5 camera with no need for a darkroom. Am I going to love it? Or is my OCD hatred for mess and spillage going to get in the way? Let's find out. So the Minutero 2, or in the correct terminology, the Minutero 2.0. It looks like a very thick 4x5 holder, has a dark slide like a 4x5 holder, uh, but it also separates out uh, into two pieces. Here we have one piece, that's the base and the top. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a piece of paper there in the base, you're gonna close it up, you're gonna clip that onto the back of the camera via the graph lock attachments. Once it's on, you're then gonna pull the dark slide, uh, you're going to expose your sheet as you would a uh, standard piece of film or whatever. You're going to close the dark slide. You are then going to uh, take this cap off. You are going to pour your chemicals in here, which will then fill the tray with the chemicals. You're then going to slosh them about for the uh, correct time. You're going to pour them out from here. Uh, and once you have done all the pouring and sloshing, uh, then you're going to open it up and you'll have a print, roughly. You can use it for paper negatives. Uh, I don't think it's designed really to be used with film. I think it's probably best with paper. We are going to use it for black and white paper reversal. Here is my wonderful Stenopaker 4x5 Air Force, currently with the Dalmar 12 inch f4.5 telephoto lens on. Uh, so around the back here, once this is in place, it is going to be significantly further back than the ground glass. So, this system is also supplied with this, which is a spacer. And it shifts the ground glass back, but unlike a, a film holder, you can see through this spacer. So you focus there and it's shifted the film plane a few millimeters further back so that it corresponds with where this is going to sit. It will be interesting to see how well this all works. Obviously, uh, usefully, I can apply all the knowledge uh, that I've already gained of the black and white paper reversal process. But this will be the very first time that I have tried black and white paper reversal without being able to see what's going on. Now, as you guys know, if you've been watching this series for a while on black and white paper reversal, we do everything to completion anyway. So there is nothing that, there's no development that's done to inspection. So it shouldn't matter. I just have to be confident in my timings and make sure that I'm leaving everything in for as long as it needs to be in. That's all the theory. Let's go and take some photos. What I'm going to be doing is, um, so I'm going away soon with work. I'm going to be away for four or five months. Um, my kids are going to miss me, apparently. Uh, they have been making things for me to take with me, bracelets and cards and things. So I wanted to make something for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take photos of me and each of them and I'll give them some frames and they can put it on their bedside tables and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do with this Minotero 2.0. We're going to take some portrait shots of me and the kids one by one. Nothing complicated about that. Should be really easy. Let's give it a go. Right then, so let us do a shoot with the Minotero 2.0. Um, so I have, I've got the Stand Paker Air Force 4x5 set up here in the kitchen. We're facing this way. I'm going to sit on this chair with uh, one, of the, one of the girls at a time. I'm going to sit here like this with one of the girls on my lap. And we're facing the camera there. And my head's on the posing stand there. So I'm going to use the Sirui 150X light it's a 150 watt light so the other thing we've got is here all of our black and white paper reversal chemicals from bellini and stenopaker i'm going to do this in the kitchen now of course you can do this out and about and if you want to go out and do landscapes you can do it in the field i'm going to do it in the kitchen today it's just a little bit more controllable right then sheets cut here they are so i've gone with 110 mil by 140 mil, which is obviously bigger than a standard 4x5 sheet, which will sit almost edge to edge in here, not quite end to end. 
but certainly edge to edge. And obviously this then, the lid coming down on it is gonna pin it. And so we want, if it was any smaller, we'd have this problem with, you know, getting it straight in here. But as it is, it may still be a little bit skew if, but we've got loads of space to chop the borders now. So, right, next thing to do is to load a sheet. We're gonna do this in a changing tent. It'll be relatively simple. Just make sure the motion side is facing up, obviously. And then uh, clip the top in, and then we're ready to rock. Let's take one sheet. Close the box again. Yeah, it's a nice fit edge to edge, side to side, I mean. Uh, there is space top and bottom. We'll get it roughly centered. Done. Light tight. Next job. We are going to insert the spacer. That's a little bit of pressure on me springs, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, for focusing, I'm going to have to assume that my daughter's face is roughly the same dimension from the back of the head to the, to the sort of bridge of the nose. I'm going to focus on the eyes with her head resting against the uh, posing stand. Looking at me, please. Lovely. Thank you, Cora. All right, let's just get the focus correct. So is your head resting on that um, thing? There you are. Okay, cool. Okay, that's a bit better. We've got a one second. Let's see if we take it even closer. 0.6, that's better. All right, thank you, Cora. You can jump out. Okay, so we've got a 0.6 seconds. So we're gonna go 1.2, 2.4. Okay, so two and a half seconds. We've got the Raveni Labs remote release attached. So first things first, we're gonna close this down. We're gonna switch it to bulb. We are gonna switch this on. Right, who wants to go first? Come on then, Emmy. Lean your head into me a bit more. There, that's it. And big smile, are you ready? Here you go, smile, you have to hold still two seconds, okay? Super statues, tell me when you're ready. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. Okay, well done. Let's begin the development. The camera wasn't recording, so uh, you didn't see me pour in the Ansco 120, but that is in. Um, it hasn't taken very much, 50 mils maybe. Uh, and that has been in for two and a half minutes so far. I'm gonna give it three. I think, I can't remember if you heard me saying this or not, but the really good thing about this system um, is that the, the top pins the paper to the back, which means there should be no issues with uh, liquid going under and the paper floating on the surface of it. All right, that's three minutes. I think we'll knock it on the head there. There's really not much liquid in there, eh? Right, then you've seen this process a lot on the channel, so I'll skip to the end. If you'd like to know more about the black and white paper reversal process, take a look at my channel page. There's quite a bit on there. I'm excited about this. I mean, once again, thing is I can't, like I've got the kids today. I'm looking after the kids. And I can't look after the kids um, from the darkroom, that's irresponsible. My darkroom's out in my garage, out there. Uh, my kids are eight and six. So if I've got the kids, I can't do anything really. Um, but this, you know, means I can. It's pretty good. Uh, here it is. So should, we, should, we should be faced with a clear piece of paper, which we are. Good start. All right, we can keep rinsing this. This whole thing a really good clean. Right then, come watch with me as we uh, add the second stage developer. We're starting to get a picture there. We are. So I can see an image. So here it comes. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty cool process, right? <laughs> I'm tempted just to stop it there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Could have done with a tiny bit longer. That's not bad at all. Not bad, not bad. Good job. Right then, just shows you only need a tiny, the tiniest, tiniest bit of developer. You want a process that is uh, efficient with your chemicals. This is it. We're literally using a couple of milliliters of each of these. That's a nice photo, I like it. I'm happy. 
Three, two, one. Statues looking at the lens. Three, two, one. There we go. We're done. Thank you very much. So I think that one might have been a fraction longer in the exposure. So we'll see whether, it's make, whether it makes a difference. Right. First things first. Developer. Some water ready. Open up. Okay. And this is now obviously exposing to light again. Whoops. Come here. There we go. This is exposing to light again as we rinse. Right then. Knock that off. Now, watch with me this time as we do this. This is cool. There we go. Uh, this could be nice, you know. Exposure on my face looks pretty good. Yeah, that's cool. I really like this. And I, those are absolutely my first and second attempts at using this system. Obviously I've been doing a lot of black and white paper reverse recently. Uh, so you would hope that I had some sense of uh, what I was doing by now. We'll give it another couple of seconds in there and then I'll give it a rinse and uh, clean it up. You're all right. Pretty tough with those though. Pretty good, huh? Well, how about that little bundle? That was the first one we did. Me and the youngest. She's happy with it. I'm okay with it. It's a bit dark. Could have been lighter. This one I am super chuffed with. Very happy with that. And you know what? This Minotero, it's not too messy. I love the fact, and you know, I love Vicar and Jagle more than I can explain. But for me, for me with my personal preferences, this is a slightly better system. So the difference is that instead of having that second dark slide, you're using this top piece to pin the paper against the back with a, of, the, of the bottom piece. And because of that, the dark slide and these difficult kind of nooks and crannies don't need to be bone dry because you're not trying to slide a piece of paper in there. Now, if you guys, uh, anybody who has used photographic paper will know that you pick it up with wet fingers, it gets sticky, right? Um, and therefore, that was the problem with the, with the Jaglay one, was that if you're trying to slide wet paper in between runners that were slightly damp, it got sticky and it got stuck. Uh, whereas with this one, uh, the, the loading process is that you, you literally place the piece of paper in the bottom there so it doesn't really matter as long as it's pretty dry it doesn't have to be bone dry you then put this piece over the top and it pins the paper to the bottom these little um nooks and crannies are the difficult bits to dry um, but they don't need to be bone dry with this system which is great so you basically give it a rinse give it a quick dry off with a towel and you're ready to rock again so anyway there we go Pretty happy with those results. I'm gonna get some frames and I will stick them on my, on the bedside tables of my daughters. Uh, overall though, Minotero 2.0. Highly recommend, really enjoyed using that. Um, much prefer the cleaning of it uh, to other uh, similar products on the market. Okay, subscribe, Patreon, Links. Get a hoodie. Woo! Uh, goodbye.